In this video I'm going to try the most dangerous repair. Everyone knows that messing with springs can be really dangerous. Many people including myself claim that it can end in a deadly situation. But how dangerous are they? In this video I will personally experience how bad it can be when things don't go as smoothly during shock absorber repairs and what can happen if the worst occurs. This is my BMW E39. Both front shock absorbers are damaged and need to be replaced. First we will unscrew the lower control arms and then we'll loosen the skirt. Usually you can now remove the skirt, but I saw a TikTok that demonstrates how to safely and without a spring compressor separate the spring from the strut. Since many testimonials have scared me about these spring compressors, I thought it was the best method. In this TikTok it shows that you should lower the car to the ground and then unscrew the nut holding the strut together and then lift the car again. However, in my attempt to do it this way, the thread of the shock absorber got stuck in the strut mount to my disadvantage. I already could feel the spring hitting my face at any time. But what can happen? if the strut now shatters. For this, I have prepared an experiment. Please, don't try it at home because this is really dangerous. I don't know whether this spring is going to fly, I don't know, in the atmosphere. So come with me. Take a look at that. So the spring sits just here, the nut on top is already pretty loose and I'm going to sit behind here and pull in this battery pack here. And hopefully then nobody is going to get injured. Yes. <laughs> it just exploded in two trillion pieces and we only got one, two, three cans. Trust me guys, this part here is pretty heavy. I think it has almost five kilos. Oh, and it's broken. And if something like that flies just away like it did before, then imagine how much force this thing here has, which weighs about 300 grams. This part can be really dangerous, if not deadly. Now that we know it's very dangerous, let's go back to the repair. This is the most dangerous situation of my whole life. And I'm standing here with a ticking time bomb. I didn't know what to do next, as you can see here. But fortunately, I was able to secure the spring with a spring compressor that I had laying around there. Still, I wondered, how can I safely get the spring out now? Then, I made a mistake. I took an extension and tapped on the spring, hoping that the strut mount would fall free itself. In hindsight, I'm glad nothing happened. I don't know how, but eventually I managed to get the spring off the strut and everything went well. But how do you prevent ending up in such a situation? Now I'm going to show you how to safely disassemble this strut assembly. And all you need is on this table. Put on your safety glasses, then put on your hand shoes, which have more holes than an old Italian car. <sighs> Ooh, big hole. Then you need some fluid to lubricate your spring compressors. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm going to put the first one on here. Ah, yeah. Please don't use an impact gun, use a ratchet for this. And now on the exact opposite side, I'm going to take the other spring compressor. Yeah, okay. And now compress the springs evenly. And now you can see how loose the spring sits on here. Now the last thing we have to do is to remove the top nut from here. Boom, boom and boom. Now you have to release both spring compressors evenly and your job is done. Done. But now let's go back and finish the repair. And while we are here, we also need to install the fender liner. But first, we are going to remove the whole wheel hub assembly. After that, we are preparing the spring to go onto the new strut. I should have done it in the first place, but I've bought myself two new spring compressors in order to install the spring onto the strut assembly. But before we put on the spring, we need to install the rubber seat. So you were your shoulders. After assembling the strut, we remove the old thrust arm and install a new one. Unfortunately, the inner rubber bushing was teared apart on the old one. Now we are installing the hop assembly again. And done. Now there's only one thing left to do. Install all of the pieces from the anti-roll bar, torque everything to spec, plug in all of the electrical components, 
and take a look at that. This looks so beautiful, so shiny and so new. And now we install both pendulums. But in the process of that, I made a mistake. Well, I forgot to install the smaller one, which sits in front of the big one. So I had to disassemble everything again. But this looks much better now. Now comes the other side. On with the wheel. And we are done. If you liked this video, then you might be interested in this dangerous failure in this video. 